Progressive lenses help you see well in a lot of different situations by bending light differently across different parts of the lens. I'll break down what exactly progressive lenses do, their pros and cons, and some tips for getting used to wearing them. All glasses and contacts correct your vision by shifting the light in your eyes to focus on your retinas properly. So if your eye is working the way it's supposed to, it looks at something far away, takes in that light, and focuses that down onto a single point on your retina. That's the back surface of your eye that has all of your light detecting cells. In reality though, that's just how your eyes focus something again that's far away, like a star. While for things closer up to you, your eye forms this upside down image on the back of your eye, like shown in this diagram. But the layout I was showing earlier, where we're looking at something far away, is the easiest way to explain how your eye is supposed to work and how different eye conditions affect that. So we'll be using that setup for this video. If you're nearsighted, which 40% of adults are, that means that instead of your eye focusing that light onto a single point on your retina, it focuses that too near. It's too strong and it's focusing the light too soon. Because of that, instead of a nice point on your retina, you can see that the lines have spread out and that makes everything get a little bit more blurry. Being farsighted is just the opposite of that. Instead of focusing the light right onto your retina or focusing it too soon, if you're farsighted, your eye is trying to focus that light too late. So it's actually hitting your retina before it comes to a point of focus. And again, those lines have spread out and your vision becomes a little bit more blurry. So normal glasses and contacts add an additional lens to change that near or farsightedness. So if you're nearsighted, an additional lens is added that pushes that light backwards. So it goes right onto the retina where it's supposed to be. And if you're farsighted, you need another lens to help focus the light bringing up that point of focus back onto the retina where it should be. Progressive lenses are special because different parts of the lens bend light differently. They're actually one example of a broader category of lenses called multifocus lenses. Bifocals are another multifocal lens where the lens is split into two sections, with the bottom section bending light more to help you focus on things up close. Trifocals are the same thing, but with a top section that bends light slightly less for looking at things far away. Progressive lenses have the same three sections as trifocals, but they smoothly transition between them across the lens. Looking through this progressive lens, you can see the bottom bending light more than the areas above it. You can even get multifocal contact lenses that also have different zones on them with different powers. If you're looking at your glasses prescription, the first number under spherical or SPH describes your overall lens correction. But if you have a number under addition or add, that means that you have progressive lenses. Now it's time for the pros and cons of progressive lenses. Pros, you only need one pair of glasses to do a bunch of different things pretty well. You don't need separate reading glasses to help you see up close. There isn't a sharp transition between different sections of different powers. And that smoother look of progressive lenses doesn't make you look older like the noticeable lines on bifocals or even trifocals can. And cons, they may take some time to get used to. The transitions between those different sections can sometimes make people nauseous in the way that they distort things. Sometimes it can take up to a few weeks to get used to wearing progressive lenses, but I've heard people say that in a couple of hours they were totally used to it, so it really varies on the person. They also cost more than normal single power lenses because of their funkier, more complex shape. And they're a little more expensive than bifocals or trifocals too. All right, if you got progressive lenses, here are some tips for getting used to them if you're feeling a little disoriented. At first, try aiming your head and not just your eyes at what you're trying to look at uh, because just flicking your eyes back and forth could throw you off. And when you're walking, trying to look straight ahead more as opposed to down at your feet can help because the bottom of your lenses magnify things more. So looking down through that bottom part towards your feet will warp things. The more you wear them, the faster you get used to them. And finally, always follow your eye doctor's advice. If you're having trouble adjusting to your progressive lenses, let them know and they can adjust your prescription, maybe assess the fit of your glasses, or just give you more guidance.